this video uh, will be talking about how to uh, add a session in your project uh, majorly the sessions are necessary in terms of uh, security uh, you need the actual login to go in and you uh, want to predict which particular user has been logged inside so that that reason we have to add a session uh, we have a uh, two major things one is a session and a cookie session is a one which runs on a server which has been stored on a server where the cookie has been located on a client uh, for a security reason is always preferred to better to have a session uh, you need the uh, continuously logged in you want to keep login so then you can use a cookie so in this part in this video i'll be directly talking about a session okay now this is my project what i have so i'm just going to log in this i have done it using angular i have a code here it's the same code uh, done it using angular uh, now let me just run this project yeah you get the user is valid where we have already done this one and it takes me to the other page right now i just copy this one out i just copy this one i come back here i reload it i open another tab now when i do paste this all right the result.html it directly goes to result.html now there is no security now we have to restrict the result.html to uh, to visit so people can visit only when they have came through a login form and they have been clicked on a login there is other way if they have been pasted like this uh, they should not visible the result.html so there is a reason we have to add a session now we'll start with the same project so i'm going to add a session into it so how do i can add a session when the login is successful here i have to add a session so to add a session I cannot directly add a session in a JavaScript so I never prefer to add a session in a JavaScript because the session has to be stored in a uh, the server so we go with a PHP file so I say uh, one I'll create one PHP file I name it as a set session <coughs> so there's my PHP file so where I'm going to set the session and I'm going to find, I'm going to send the Ajax call from here. It's same like this, $HTTP dot. So you can get our post, post also you can use it. Okay, so I can say something like this, set session dot PHP. So that's my file. And what I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass some parameter, parents okay so i can pass a unim one uh, so never put the password in a session that's always preferable so you can i can give a unim and then i say unim. okay perfect now uh, there's the same then successful then it goes to a function with some response since we already have a response, we go with the response one. So otherwise it will be overridden. So no problem about that. Okay, so I go with a session here. So I'm going to create a session. The first line will be session start since it is a PHP. This I cannot write it in a, a jQuery or a JavaScript. So I'm coming here. So session underscore start. Okay, the session will be started. Now I'm going to set a session. Uh, what I just do. So I say is set. I'm going to check if it is set. Dollar uh, underscore session. I'm going to send some is login. Again, if it is true, now I'm going to send dollar underscore session. If it is login, okay. I have to put it inside a if. Sorry. I'm going to put this one inside a if. Yeah. So if it is is login, so then I'm going to set it. Simple way to set dollar underscore session. So you can say is login. Login. I will be some true. I just give us some value to it. I'll give it as a true. Right. Making it false no, no, doesn't mean that you. Uh, will be unsetting it so it's a value so i'm gi just giving a boolean value whatever you have so uh, there's a one so i'll just check whether the session is set if it is set uh, if it is not set right it should mean not 
if it is not set then i'll be setting one session that is what i do otherwise i'll be keeping the same value over here if it is set then is not necessary already again to be set so you want the username to be set so you can take dollar u name okay so then i say dollar underscore get of u name where i had been passed in the ajax call and you can set another session if you want but it is not necessary now so you can set a session named as a username nobody can access it why because it has been stored inside a database so you can give it as a unique yeah now the session has been set and now uh, we go here we go here so uh, HTTP get uh, so this one used to be set and there is no data to be retrieved so okay that's all now the session will be set now once you reload the page now you want the session to be unset right so i create another php file where i'm going to delete the session this is very important you have to delete the session otherwise session will stay in the uh, the browser uh, in the server until you close the browser right again so i'm going to create um, session start okay so i'm going to delete a two session that can be done so i'm going to check this one out yeah here we set login we have okay fine so i'm going to unset this unset both the session unset dollar underscore session of a ease login is our session one and then we have dollar underscore session of a u name the name is my session username is my session username is my session i'm just deleting this session and i'm calling it from the uh, dollar get so i just copy this line and where do i paste it i don't paste it inside the validate validate is only called when the button has been clicked so now i call it outside the validate now what happens here so this one i'll be copying the delete session and i'll be pasting it here right so this delete session will be called whenever the page has been loaded right this is what the validate is only called when you click on a button since i have not put inside any particular function i had put it outside so that has been called when the page has been loaded so when the page is loaded i'm unsetting the first session so when the page is loaded i'm setting a session now so this is what happens in the index.php this is what i have inside index.php now i go to a result.php where i'm going to get the session right so then the page will be loaded otherwise page will be diverted into other page so here again i need the angular here uh, result.php so i'm going to bring the angular the bootstrap if it is necessary i bring the bootstrap i bring the jquery and then i bring the angular right let me just put these three yeah so i can write some angular code so i say this one script will be created okay again to make it as angular i have to go with the ng hyphen app my app okay so then we have ng hyphen controller okay now so i'm going to copy this angular code because it looks same here so i go into a result.php so paste it up right yeah so i'm going to write the code here so my angular so first i'm going to get the session so i do copy this one also when the page has been loaded okay now here it should not be a delete session it should be a get session so i create another file named a php file as a get session see it's always better you create a folder and you keep the session separate right so i'm not doing that i'm dumping it everything in a one folder so get session is my php so again i start the session start session start so i'm going to send a I, I'll just check if is session is set is set um, dollar underscore session of a ease login 
if the ease login is set so then I say this um, I just take one valid dollar valid is equal to zero I'm not retrieving the username if you want you can retrieve it so if it is set then I make a dollar valid as a one okay then I'm going to pass this one with the uh, echo so you can pass it as a json dot info dollar value otherwise you directly can send it plus one through I directly send it json dot valid is not necessary so I go with the valid right so json dot valid is necessary if you have a RAR object otherwise since you directly have this one I send it now the concept is this if the is login is set then I'll be sending a valid one otherwise I'll be sending the valid as a zero now I check this one inside a response the response I make it inside a response I take a variable result is equal to response dot data okay now if the result is one if the result is zero I say this if the result double equal to zero so then I change the windows location window dot location dot h reference to go uh, to some particular file I say uh, index dot html so I make it to divert it to back to a index dot html so I'm going to get the session sorry this should be copied not delete session here it should be a get session uh, in the get session I'm not passing any parameter parameter is not at all necessary even in the delete session also we don't think we need a parameter here in the index.php we have a delete session uh, we don't have a parameter so no need to pass it for the delete session also I'm just unsetting the session only in the get session I'll be passing the parameter is not actually necessary I'll be passing a parameter some value parameter will be passed and that will be retrieved okay so I have this in the get session it just directly unload the data so directly take the session and that will be done so I reload this I go to a local host and login form 2 I go this one run 1 to 3 it says user is valid it takes me to the other page okay now So I just copy this URL, I go back here, I reload the page, and I go. So I, I do not get the result page, it takes me back to the same page, right? So you want to go to a result page, then you have to go uh, with the login form. Okay, now this is your result page. Now if you are directly trying to access this, I reload it, you are trying to access it in the other page by pasting the URL or something it doesn't take you to that page right but you can see here welcome to login is the first time then it takes some time then it takes you to the uh, the login page or html page you don't want that to be shown here but you can see here so when i typed it in a fraction of a second welcome to login page will be shown here so you don't want that to be shown so you can set one angular variable so what you can make uh, you can make one dollar scope dot show content some name you can give content uh, you can give it as a false first of all now uh, if it is uh, yeah if it is uh, login successful then it'll be else it'll be coming to else at that time you can make dollar scope dot show content uh, you can make it as true so uh, so you can make the ng body so you can make this body to be shown ng show right only if it is valid so i write uh, what is the content show content so ng show will be taking as an expression so it show content they initially has a value as a false so it doesn't show when the show content will become true so this body will be shown that is the ng show will do you for you so <clears throat> just reload the page now one two three valid so it just show me a content okay now i go back here i reload it so then 
uh, you paste it again so the no value will be shown you can see here so welcome to that page also will not be shown why because uh, that is uh, empty here so ng show will be empty and you can work on this this is how you can build a session using angular i particularly go with angular uh, sessions using angular so sessions can be easily built using a php but angular makes your program in a one one discipline one uh, one neat manner right yes thank you